Hello everyone, I am Maida Batool. I am a developer advocate for content and community. For the last 10 years, I've been leading several content teams and have published hundreds of advanced guides for developers. Uh, so basically, I love to translate complex web development concepts into simple mental models. Uh, on the community side, I'm serving the official WordPress marketing team as one of their lead representatives. And I'm also one of the digital ocean navigators. My most recent work is my ebook, and there is an attached video course to it. Uh, it's called Content for Developers at Writey.io, where more than 1300 developers are already learning. These days, I am most active on Twitter, where I actually create content for developers. So, Twitter is like my mini blog. So feel free to follow me and my work there. Uh, my Twitter handle is at Maidabatool. And let me tell you that this is going to be my first Next.js conference talk. And I'm super, super excited about it. I hope you all are going to have a great time in the next few minutes. Who would have guessed Next.js could be used to write an ebook? Well, if you ask me, initially not even myself. So today I'm going to share the story of how I got fed up of formatting issues and whatnot with Google Docs when I was writing a book called Writey.io that was actually meant to help developers to improve their technical writing skill set. And finally, how I ended up building an entire web application for this ebook with Next.js and WordPress, which is, of course, blazing fast and has a dark mode as well. Coupled with this, there were some my own preferences uh, other than the light and dark modes that included optimized layouts, a performance structure, and this seemed almost impossible to achieve with a traditional book writing framework. So guess what? Eventually, I decided to build it with Next.js and React components. And dang, it was my best decision so far. All of this took care of my front end and of course the book writing experience itself, but I needed a robust solution for backend that could help me maintain my course platform without any hassle. So for me, there wouldn't have been a better choice than WordPress. Now things were getting sorted and my ebook infrastructure was ready to be executed. The final shape was a strong backend built with WordPress, a cutting edge Next.js powered front end and of course, a final deployment on Vercel. So let's find out how all of this was made possible. Just in case you don't know, then let me tell you that WordPress supports an out of the box headless API, where I used its REST API to fetch the content. So what I mean here is that I can still use WordPress like we all generally do. For example, using the WordPress admin panel and other related content management tools, but the different part is that now I will use it only as an API for my content where Next.js will pull data in to build my website. So going with this headless WordPress approach, it gave me an overall control over my content. And with that came the freedom to build a completely custom front end. However, the process of configuring and designing that front end is generally not always easy. So I'll quickly walk you through how WordPress is helping me maintaining my course platform with Next.js. So WordPress is my database, which is better tested. And you know, it has an ecosystem of more than 50,000 plugins, which allows me to perform tasks like uh, authentication, roles management, audit logs, and a number of other things. And not only this, I can track and record several other analytics like the number of times my book has been downloaded, which specific sections of the book were more popular in terms of readability and whatnot. So when it came to building a custom front end, Next.js catered the cause exceptionally well. It helped me create a beautiful, high performing front end. We all know that Next.js prioritizes performance. So my goals, which I had for my ebook, they aligned really very well here. So if you ask me, then Next.js offered an exceptional developer experience, which of course uh, sequentially led to a fantastic user experience. There were no formatting issues. 
I had a completely optimized layout and again, a free web version on Versal as well. But amidst all of this, I wanted my course platform to outclass itself in terms of page speed and performance. And once again, Next.js perfectly served the purpose. So here's my take about how Next.js helped me write and build my best selling ebook. Since we all know that Next.js uses automatic code splitting to only load the JavaScript and CSS, so my front end was blazing fast. Had I not used Next.js, the browser will have to download several unnecessary scripts that would significantly affect load times. So at present, if I would share some stats, then my course platform's average speed uh, is generally between 0.8 and 1.5 seconds, which gives an incredible user experience. So I just mentioned that I wanted my course platform to be highly performant, both in terms of speed as well as better search rankings. And we all know that performance is a major factor in deciding the SEO rankings. Sometime back, it was only the page speed that was the deciding factor for the browser rankings. But now, like trends have slightly changed. Today, Google has set another benchmark other than page speed as a ranking parameter which is called as Core Web Vitals. So when I decided to opt Next.js, I was truly amazed to find that Next.js is fully compliant with this new feature set of browser rankings as well. And today when I analyze my site traffic, it's like more than 60% from the organic search. So this means that Next.js is helping me climb all those important search ranking steps. Just in case if Core Web Vitals is a completely new concept for you, then let me quickly explain the three metrics on which it is based on. So here are these three. Last Contentful Paint, which is the LCP, and it's the time to get the largest element on the page visible within the viewport. Next is the first input delay, the FID, and it is the time when a user first interacts with a web page after entering it to the time when the browser can start processing that interaction. Imagine like signing up for a newsletter on some website. And last is the cumulative layout shift, the CLS, and it measures your site's overall layout stability. These three metrics measure your site's loading, interactivity, and visual stability. So I wanted all of this in my web application. This means that if my website could get an impressive score for these three parameters, it would ensure a smoother web experience, both for my users as well as for my SEO rankings. Generally, what happens is that whenever you decide to jump to some new framework, they are notorious for having like steep learning curves. Honestly, next year's didn't give me a tough time at all. It is designed in a way that makes it super easy to use. There are so many features that are just integrated automatically like compilation and bundling. Like I've mentioned, my next JS based ebook app has both a light and a dark mode. I just created an automation that allows me to render light and dark mode PDFs along with other formats like EPUB. So here are the performance results by Lighthouse and you can see they are super impressive. Uh, I haven't done much optimization there. This means that without employing any specific optimization techniques, the website is performing exceptionally well. And the credit all goes to next year's, of course. Here are some detailed performance scores for the core web vital metrics, which are again incredibly awesome. Next year's very conveniently takes care of all my SEO needs. Regarding layouts, React helped me to dissect the web page into series of components. And as you can see in this slide, every possible section of the website is handled via a separate React component. The bio, pricing table, the testimonials, each is built separately. This architecture makes site assembling, maintaining and debugging super easy for me. And if you want to see the real picture of how my web app renders in light and dark mode, then there is a representation for the dark mode. And here's the light mode. Honestly, let me tell you that when I started working on this idea of writing and selling an ebook, I considered it an easy task that would comprise of a simple Google Docs file, but that was not the case, especially because my target audience was developers. 
so I completely owe it to next years that has helped me refine my ebook altogether to a next level. Developers who have purchased a copy really like the entire experience from onboarding to the final stage of reading. So to sum things up, let me tell you that I am using next years both to empower the marketing stack through the front end landing page and of course the actual web app which is my ebook that is built with Next.js and React components. That's pretty much about it. I hope you had a great time learning through my experience and I hope uh, you had this completely new perspective that it could help to build you a cutting edge and blazing fast book writing infrastructure. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out on my Twitter account. Uh, I would be more than happy to connect with you there. Have a great day. Peace.